Now let's take a look at this figure 17-7 uh, from Stalkup's Electrical Design Book, Volume 2. And we're going to discuss connection to ground of these isolation switches uh, in accordance with 230.204D as in dog and 490.37. Now notice we have a figure loop up here, figure 17-4 that uh, provides more information. And for grounding rules, see the last part of Article 250 that deals with grounding uh, systems uh, over a thousand volts and we have a high voltage supply coming in which you know is over a thousand volts we have an isolation switch and it's a double throw in accordance to 490.22 the all circuit breaker is outlined in 490.21a1c and then on the other side of that all circuit breaker is the routing of the conductors to the load now notice to the left you have the grounding sign of grounding that switch on the load side of the switch. And the grounding means are grounding to the electrode system in accordance with 250.50 as well as 250.52 based upon type of electrode that you're grounding to. And then the equipment ground bus bar is also connected and the and you connecting it to the structural steel here in accordance with 230.204d and 250.52a2 in the NEC so basically you see once we throw this switch we automatically ground that switch to the load side and it grounds everything on routing over to that all circuit breaker. And that's what our figure here, 17-7, is illustrating the connection to ground in accordance with 230.204D as well as 490.37.